Hi guys, so let's start with the question of the day. So the question goes like, a 17 year old girl was evaluated for short height, was found to have enlarged pituitary gland, her T4 was low, TSH was increased, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Pituitary adenoma B. TSH secretory pituitary tumor C. Thyroid target receptor insensitivity or D. Primary hypothyroidism so for this question first you take 10 seconds 30 seconds and try to find the answer yourself so in these type of questions ruling out is the only answer no one knows the answer when you start ruling out the option the answer will come to you itself so first option is pituitary adenoma first you all know that there is thyroid then there is pituitary and then there is this hypothalamus thyroid releases t4 t3 Pituitary releases TSH and hypothalamus releases TRH. We all know this and there is always negative feedback. If this is increasing, the thyroid will inhibit pituitary, the pituitary will inhibit hypothalamus. This you all know. Now let's start with the question. Pituitary adenoma. So what is pituitary adenoma? Some tumor or some mass in the pituitary. So in pituitary adenoma, obviously the TSH will be raised. Definitely. If the TSH is raised, the T4 and T3 should also be raised. I will explain you this. First, what is pituitary adenoma? TSH is increasing, so T3, T4 should also increase. And this is, if for pituitary adenoma, you have to do MRI pituitary gland. And pituitary adenoma test can be of two types, functional and non-functional. For functional, it is most common as prolactinoma. For non-functional, it is gonadotrophin reducing cells. This is uh, this is a PYQ. I think it is asked in CMS or some exam. The fun most common functional pituitary tumor is prolactinoma. I used to learn like this. Con functions are the karega. Jo pro log hote hai. Pro people function more le. So prolactinoma functional and non-functional is gonadotrophin producing cells. So first answer that is pituitary adenoma. If TSH is increasing, T4, T3 will also increase. Same TSH secreting pituitary tumor. This is the same. So A and B option can be ruled as they are ruled out as they are talking about the same thing. Then the C option is thyroid target receptor insensitivity. Thyroid target receptor insensitivity. So what happens in this? Means the thyroid is producing T4, T3 very normally, but it is not able to act. So T4 is low. No. Let me explain you this. In thyroid target receptor uh, sensitivity, the thyroid is functioning very normally. So T4 and T3 are normally secreted, means increased. But as you know, this negative feedback, T3, T4 are normally being secreted. In fact, there have been increased because they are not able to act on the receptor. So they are more in number. So TSH will in fact in this question decrease. So in thyroid target uh, receptor insensitivity, TSH should decrease. But in this question, TSH is increased. So yes, C is also not the option. What is D? Primary hypothyroidism. What happens in primary hypothyroidism? It is primary, secondary or tertiary. In primary, the function lies in the thyroid gland itself. So in thyroid gland, T3 and T4 are not able to work. So T3, T4 are decreasing. So the thyroid was thinking that the pituitary is not helping me. So it will ask pituitary, yeah, you secrete more TSH so that I can secrete more T4 and T3. So yes, answer can be primary hypothyroidism. Now let's study, let's try to study about hypothyroidism. It can be a primary and secondary. I told you in primary what happens, thyroid gland is affected and most common cause is Hashimoto's disease. I used to learn like this, mote ho jate hain, Hashimoto's mein mote ho jate hain. So in hypothyroidism you become, you gain your gain weight. In secondary, what happens in secondary? In secondary, pituitary gland has some problem like in Sheehan syndrome, Simon's disease. What is Sheehan's and Simon's? Simon's is non-obstructed cause of pituitary damage. So what happens in primary and in secondary? In primary, T4, thyroid is not able to produce um, T4 and T3. So T4 is decreasing, but TSH increases. And in secondary, 
द पिट्यूटरी टी एस द टी एस एच इज डिक्रीजिंग सो टी फोर विल ऑल्सो डिक्रीज सो दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स एंड दीज आर वेरी बेसिक यू कैंट लर्न दीज यू कैन मेक दिस ऑन योर ओन वाइल इन द एग्जाम इट सेल्फ वॉट्स आर वॉट आर द सम क्लिनिकल फीचर फर्स्ट इज कोल्ड एंड टॉलरेंस वेट गेन वेट गेन आई टोल्ड यू हाशी मोटो मोटो डिक्रीज स्वेट रिड्यूस कार्डियक आउटपुट कॉन्स्टिपेशन मिक्सडीमा मिक्सडीमा इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट बिकॉज इन दिस देर इज एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ ग्लाइकोसोमोना ग्लाइकन्स एंड प्रोटियो ग्लाइकन्स एंड नॉन पिटिंग एडीमा दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नॉन पिटिंग एडीमा ऑफ हैंड एंड फीट कैन ऑल्सो बी सी एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आज वेरी ऑफन सीरम टी एस एच इज द मोस्ट यूजफुल स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट इन दिस सो नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज नाउ क्लियर दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर वेरी ऑफन कमिंग इन योर एग्जाम्स सो पिट्यूटरी एडिनोमा मीन्स पिट्यूटरी इज सिक्रेटिंग मोर कांड बी द आंसर दीज टू ऑप्शन आर ऑलमोस्ट सेम थायरॉयड टारगेट रिसेप्टर थायरॉयड इज प्रोड्यूसिंग वेल बट इट इज नॉट एबल टू एक्ट ऑन द रिसेप्टर सो आंसर बिकम्स डी that is primary hypothyroidism and this is a very old uh, aims question so that's all guys thank you see you tomorrow with another question thank you